Hello and welcome to our course on blockchain and Web3. Blockchain is everywhere these days and it's not going anywhere anytime soon. It's bringing in massive new investments, new opportunities and could bring about a new version of the web. With this course, we want to understand the most important concepts in blockchain and Web3. We're going to build a mental model of the Web3 space so that we can make better decisions when working with all these new technologies. So what does the course cover? In the first half of the course, we'll work on our foundation. We'll really understand what blockchain is and how it works. We'll learn about immutability, decentralization, and distributed networks. We'll look at Bitcoin, the blockchain that popularized the whole idea. We'll use Bitcoin as an example in our investigation of how blockchain works. And then we'll go into how Ethereum and other blockchains expanded on the initial ideas of the blockchain. Because Web3 is new and blockchain is an emerging technology, the topics we're covering will change quickly. There's also lots of attention being paid to these things in the media, and there's a lot of poor information going around. But I'll give you a secret. The best way to get ahead when a technology is surrounded by hype, change, and volatility is to stick to the fundamentals. These are the things that don't change. As an added bonus, this approach also helps to future-proof this course. If you understand the fundamentals well, most of the changes that we'll see in the future are just minor details that you can learn if you ever need to. In the second half of the course, we'll look at the applications of blockchain that make up Web3. We'll learn how blockchain is evolving and we'll look at some of the main ideas in this new emerging web, discussing topics like smart contracts. This is code that runs on the blockchain and we can't talk about smart contracts without talking about dApps or decentralized applications and how we can use the blockchain to build them. There's a topic of much debate. NFTs or non-fungible tokens. Do we really need them? How do they work? And why are they so expensive? And we have DAOs, decentralized autonomous organizations. Will they replace the giant corporations that dominate the web today? There's so many of these acronyms being thrown around left and right nowadays, it's easy to get lost. We'll dig into each of them, look at examples, and understand the most important concepts. In this later section of the course, we'll look at things with a slightly more critical eye to see what makes sense and what doesn't, to avoid making some very common and very costly mistakes. For example, when investing our own time and money into cryptocurrencies. Now, these are just some of the topics that we'll cover in this course. I want you to be able to cut through all that hype, all those scams, and all that marketing to really understand how things work whenever a conversation about blockchain comes up. As always, know that nothing in this course is financial or investment advice. The goal and focus here is to lay the groundwork for you to understand the world of Web3 and blockchain if you decide it's something you want to dive into. This course should empower you, giving you tools for understanding that can help you navigate 
and prepare for possible future developments in the web. It should give you some understanding to avoid scams, get a job in the space, or even just to educate your friends. All right, without further ado, let's dive in to the exciting world of Web3 and blockchain.